Okay, so I've just um, turned off uh, my Wi-Fi and I've got the last price for uh, Apple. So I've, I've lo I'm looking at uh, the Apple stock and I'm looking at the so that this is the price at. Um, in fact, it was after it was uh, nineteen okay nineteen zero eight. And I also have Apple chain data for uh, the contract starting, uh, ending, the expiry date being October 30th, 2015. And today's date is October uh, 23rd. So we have about seven days left to run. So this is a, a call option, set of option chain data for options that are in the money so the green here the notes in the money and the white the notes out of the money and then put options the white is out of the money and the green is in the money and we might just take note of the volumes involved uh, tend to be quite substantial when we get close to the current price so when the exercise price gets close to that value of 119 we notice that the volumes tend to increase and when we move away from 119 uh, the volumes tend to drop and so on so i have the october 30th contract the november 27th expiry the december 18th expiration or expiry to February 19 to 2016 the April 15th expiry and we have also here Apple for the June 17 2016 okay so what I intend to do is just uh, take this data and bring in to excel so i don't see i don't actually see a but sometimes with historical prices there's a button and the file the information just um downloads across uh downloads onto a csv file but in this instance i think i'm just going to copy and paste so that's what i'm going to do copy and paste this data now I copied and pasted, so I took that data directly from Yahoo Finance. Uh, so I have the option chain data for calls and puts, and I put in the expiration dates. The current date is October 23, 2015. That's today's date. And then with these expiration dates, um, at the closing prices, I have... Um, the last price, the bid and ask, and the option, and um, etc. Implied volatilities. I have the October 30th expiration, November 17th, December 18th. I can widen this just to see a little bit better. Uh, February 19th, uh, April 18th. And June 17th. So these are all option chain data for the very for the respective uh, expiration dates. And um, what we plan, what I plan to do with this data is to try to construct uh, a volatility surface and implement a practitioner approach to Black Shoals. So estimate using a surface using a specification from Dumas Fleming Whaley uh, and uh, estimate the using a kind of quad quadratic specification estimate uh, a parameterize quadratic type uh, functions that allow us to uh, give a better picture or a recent picture of implied volatility.